when you feel guilty in your heart for not praying Salah, that is leverage that your heart has over you. So don't run away from it. Go towards it and pray to Allah. That's leverage. She went to a shoot in which her chest wasn't even covered. It's not like she was wearing cleavage. It was the clothes are so tight, the way they're making a dress and the scarf doesn't even fall over this area. All the goodies are showing. If you're in a situation right now that's kind of like, uh, stuck in some hardship or turmoil, just know it's cyclical. The good is on its way. Just have faith in Allah. She said she was sobbing in her hotel room, guys. Sobbing, sobbing. Do you know what that's like? If you do, then you know what she was experiencing. People could change, people could improve their lives. Stop counting people out. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been concocting, concocting something in her heart, her spirit. Something was brewing in her, subhanAllah. Y'all want, want to hear the story of SQ's arrest? How rescue SQ got arrested? Way of life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Remember that, you own this. This doesn't owe you, remember that. Don't ever start feeling so bad for your circumstances or you don't have something or you lost something. Loss doesn't exist. You own it, it doesn't own you, remember that. I'm just turning on my camera right now. I thought I'd give you a different type of sneak, a different type of vibe, a blank screen vibe. Who would do this but SQ? I'd do that, let's go. Oh SQ, be like them, not them. Oh SQ, but why don't you do it like this, I'm not them. Oh, SQ, make your video shorter. I'm not them. Yeah, my camera has a uh, timer mode on right now. I don't even know how to turn it off. But your boy SQ could care less. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another SQ show, SQ documentary. Gup shop with SQ post Fajr show. Call it what you want. I read Fajr more this morning. Did you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. If you did, if you didn't, the question is, what are you gonna do about it? Sit here and whine and cry and miss the rest because you missed one? When has that ever been true in life? Never. You missed one meal, you're like, I gotta fast for the rest of the day now. I gotta fast for the rest of my life now. No, that's not how it works, bro. You missed a prayer, fix it, figure it out. Change your routine, change your schedule. But do something in the moment. Coach in the moment. Stop thinking that you gotta wait. Wait for something to happen. Bro, you can come by. Come on on by. Come on by. You're good. That's a cool bike. That's a cool bike. Yeah, That's cool. You too. You too have a good day. Today's Thanksgiving. Today's Thanksgiving. Did you know that? They'll ask you, where did you bring me, huh? Is this where you bring all your victims? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Man, oh man, we have a lot to talk about today. Today is Thanksgiving, as I mentioned. Uh, the national genocide that's celebrated in the United States. Um, no one really talks about it. Everyone wants to give it a nicer spin and don't want to remove this custom and holiday. Why are we even worried about celebrating this holiday? I appreciate the day off though. I don't want you to ever trip. I appreciate the day off. I appreciate the concept of family. But how is celebrating by overeating a concept of family? You don't see each other. Have you ever thought that it was a better idea to schedule a once a month family reunions? Or, or what? COVID has proven something that Thanksgiving shouldn't even exist. It's gonna spread more. SQ, you're not wearing your mask. I'm out in the open, all right? I'm out in the open. You're the last one to talk, SQ, about safety. Going out there, making all these social experiments without these masks. I know, I know, all right? I know, I know. I wear a mask all day long in my school classroom. But you know what? That's not an excuse. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna wear it, inshallah. Make the offer me. Make the offer me, guys. Second thing I want to talk to you about um, was about the sister Halima Aiden. Is that her name? Halima Aiden? I just wanted to give you some initial thoughts about this. Uh, yep, Halima Aiden. Halima Aiden quit. You know what's so interesting? I remember back in, I don't know when, maybe 2017? 2017? Maybe? Maybe not. Not sure. I seen the cover of the, 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 Sports Illustrated, that's not for the last cube. <laughs> I know, I know, I saw it. Forgive me. Allah, forgive me. And this was it, it was like 2018, something like that. And um, the sister was on there. And I thought to myself originally, oh, mm, misrepresenting Islam, of course. The Dajjal, uh, sellout, Illuminati, oh, making us Muslim women look bad. Look at them, sexualizing you, sister. You don't even see it. Then, I took that energy and I converted it 
in a different and transformed it in a different way called a dua I remember making dua that Allah guide the sister make it easy for her you know I saw a nur on her face I did I made dua for her I, got, I said Allah guide the sister so when I'm finding news about this and if it's been for the past few days you haven't hit me in the comments I should talk about sister Halima Aida and all that sort of stuff why? I'm the one who made the dua for her and probably her mom and probably her family and probably some other people who loved her real ones out there real ones out there never got out of her ear real ones out there didn't just accept our money and live the lavish life and get a murder Sadie's Benz and a bubble double R no they didn't what they did was they kept on in the ear they're like listen sweetheart this is not the right way not the right way you, why does a person change? Have you thought of that? Why does a person immediately just change? Sorry, I tried. Didn't work. It's when their beliefs and their values have a conflict. There's a conflict. You're torn. Your beliefs tell you this about the hijab, about modesty, about women. But you, what you value is telling you something else, Sister Halima. So back and forth, back and forth. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Friction. Sister said that she went, she went to a shoot in which her chest wasn't even covered. It's not like she was wearing cleavage. It was the clothes are so tight, the way they're making her dress and the scarf doesn't even fall over this area. All the goodies are showing. She said she didn't say anything. You can't take back the words you never said. That's a Lupe Fiasco song, but also very relevant to this topic right over here. You see? You can't. She went back to her room and sobbed, she said. So Do you know what sobbing is? Not crying. <laughs> sobbing. <laughs> you know, it's like snort coming down. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. If you haven't sobbed in a while, sob for the sake of Allah. Those are the moments that she was getting closer to her rub. You don't know what she was doing in between. Man, you be counting people off. Stop counting people off, bro. Stop counting people off. People could change, bro. You're looking at someone who's changed. This is the same park where I got arrested, bro. Stop it. That's not the reason I brought you out here. I just brought you here. I'm just bringing it into conversation. People could change, man. People could change. Same thing happened with Sana Khan. Ah, oh, brother. What kind of person does this? Da, 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 da. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Ask you. There is a lot more positivity out there than negativity. I get it. But my target audience now has become those who are not getting it to change their mindset. People could change, bro. And I told you, Sana Khan messaged me on Instagram. No, she, she shared my story on Instagram. She did. Not now. Back in like 2019. I didn't even know who she was. My wife pointed it out to me and then she reminded me the other day. People could change. You think she just changed now, but this journey's been happening. You think that sister Halima changed now, but this journey's been happening. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been concocting, concocting something in her heart, her spirit. Something was brewing in her, subhanAllah. It was Iman. It was Iman. It was gonna, it was gonna become more righteous. It was gonna become more beautiful. Now what y'all gonna say, huh? All those who slandered her, called her nasty names, now it's all in your face. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now eat your words. You don't even know where that comment is. You can't even delete it. It's gone. The angels have written it down. That's going to be brought in front of you on the day of judgment. Instead of slandering her or any other, think of another sister. Think of another sister that you could see in two, three years changing it completely around. Think of that sister right there. Think of that brother. Think of them. And then ask yourself, is the comment I'm saying right this very moment reflective of who they're going to become one day? God damn it. You guys don't get it. People could change. Allah can change hearts, change spirits, change you completely. Magicians of Pharaoh. I give that example a lot. That's the only example you give. Well, that's the only example you're qualified to even listen to right now. What's the point of more knowledge when you still can't give a basic person a chance? What's the point? Oh, you want more? Well, go, go study an alim course. Go, go, go. Go and roll. Go and roll. Mwah. Go, beta, go. Go study more when you haven't even mastered the basic. When your clock aren't right, your manners are all messed up. Go ahead. Oh, but SQ, look at you. Look at you, SQ. Look at you. Yeah, look at me. What about me, huh? Shirakamis looking good, reaching to my Pakistani roots. Let's go. Alhamdulillah. Kufi on. Swagger right, miswak in. Let's go. We here. I'm changing. We all change. We all evolve. SQ supports evolution. Come on, 
And people could change, give people a chance. And the opposite is also true, right? People start with the intention of Islam, but then change. True? True. I remember someone hit me up on YouTube. This is back, back when. Maybe like 15K subs in. Maybe. Maybe. 5k subs and 15k I don't know one of them someone's just like ah I've seen your types you get a little bit of YouTube subscribers and you're gonna change watch talking about me that was gonna change let me tell you something YouTube social media and all that sort of stuff let me see if I could change this hold on one second okay look at this okay let me see if I can show y'all okay can you see my hand okay good if you can see my hand, you see that first AC on the bottom right there? That's my old house. That's my old apartment. Right there. See that right there? That's the old house. The old apartment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four. Okay, yeah. The AC is where that house starts from. The following, following, following right there. That was my room. That's my room. Right over there. Y'all can't see this. I don't know why I'm showing y'all this. Yeah, some of y'all are freaks out there, man. Some of y'all like taking down my personal information and stuff. Chill with that, y'all. Chill with that. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying... <laughs> people could change I'm not, like I said I'm not really sure why I showed you that the point is this though people could change people could improve their lives stop counting people out stop projecting your insecurities onto others stop projecting where you feel like you are right now and wherever you are right now just know that you could change too come on man we, could, we all can change we all can improve Alhamdulillah, may Allah increase this man, honest to God, like, all that we're doing right now, over here, this, uh, by the way, that, the reason I was showing it to you, right, is because that's where it all started from, uh, that room right there, that room right there, that's where I started my first YouTube video, that's where it was recorded at, right there, people could change bro, people could change, now I'm here recording a video back, new person, completely multiple years later, Alhamdulillah, people can change man, like, really, 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 you got to know where you are right now. If you're not where you need to be, then guess what? You can change. Just don't count up, count out yourself and count out that Allah has counted you out. Just know that you could change. Honest to God, like, you know, when, when Fed and correct me if I'm wrong, someone, please, in the comment section below, correct me if I'm wrong. That when Fed was about to die and the water was filling in his lungs, right? If I'm not mistaken, please correct me. I could be wrong. Hey, listen, listen. I'm not no scholar. Just your brother SQ. Just to call, call me what you want. Just a regular dude. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not here to act like I do know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm as lost as you guys are out there. I'm just trying to record my journey, show my growth, my evolution, in hopes that it inspires you to get better too. That's all I hope for. Honest to God, that's, that's all I want. I just want to show y'all that y'all can do it too. If you could look at someone like me, you guys, you guys know how much more smarter people are out there than me? How, how many better speakers there are out there than me? How many better brothers and sisters there are out there than me? How many better human beings, Quran, Hafiz, like people who are more deserving than my position? You know how many more people there are qualified to me? I'm not worthy of watching. Honest to God, I'm not. You guys doing that, it's, it's a, it's a ni'mah, it's a blessing from Allah, but I'm not, there's so many others out there worth watching instead of me. I was going to say better personality than me, but then I was like, all right, let's calm down a little, okay? Calm down now, okay? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Man, I love you so much. Just know that Halima Aiden out there, proud of you, sister, proud of you. And any other sister out there who's thinking about it, who's, you know, going down that path, a little bit more, you know? Look into that. Look into that. Oh, I ask you, you didn't really tell me about Aiden. Google it, man. Google it. She left it. She left this entire thing for, for Allah. She did. She knew what was best for her. And now maybe she starts promoting something that's more positive. She already has. From what I'm understanding, people are like, yo, check out the story, check out this. I don't want to because she's a chick at the end of the day. 
And though she's my sister in Islam, I'm not immune as much as anyone else is from me not lowering my gaze. So though I respect the sister, though I, I love the sister for the sake of Allah, may Allah increase you. But I'm not, I don't plan on checking people's stories out. Y'all giving me terrible suggestions, but I do appreciate this. And what would have been really helpful for someone out there would they, if they would just shared an article with me or something, you know? I don't want to see the sister. May Allah increase her though. And, you know, may Allah continue to preserve her. You know, I love it. I love the fact that, you know, she's woken up on the inside and she's just not holding back. She's just telling you what it is, how it is. She said she was sobbing in her hotel room, guys. Sobbing. Sobbing. Do you know what that's like? If you do, then you know what she was experiencing. Making resolutions started. There was a time where resolutions started. Resolutions started in your heart. You're like, oh, I need a change. Have you ever felt that? That's what brings long lasting change. The resolution, something where there's leverage. Something has leverage over you. That's why your work gets done. Why you're procrastinating out there. All the procrastinators out there. That's why your work gets done when there's a deadline. Because there's leverage. That deadline existed a week ago too. But the leverage of only 18 hours left to turn this in is a higher leverage than weeks, uh, weeks of uh, knowing that something is due. It has leverage over you, that's where you get it done. When you feel guilty in your heart for not praying Salah, that is leverage that your heart has over you. So don't run away from it, go towards it and pray to Allah, that's leverage. Don't be fooled, don't be tricked. We say how it is, what it is out here in the open. I don't give a damn if I'm in a classroom. I don't give a damn if I'm in my backyard. I wanted to switch it up for you so you yeah, know I'm out here. I'm out here doing it how I want to do it. I'm going to do it how I want to do it, not how they're doing it, not how they want me to do it. I'm going to do it how I want to do it. Let me just do it how I want to do it. You know what I mean? You can't control people. Let, let us discover things for ourselves. People you see on the camera, they're not even themselves. That's the sad part. And yeah, just eat it up like it is. With your right hands thinking it's your left. That was my left hand. I'm just, I love y'all so much. Y'all know, you know, you know how it is. SQ show, post fudger show, gup show with SQ. Whatever y'all want to call it. This, this is really your show. This is really your show. It's not mine. Yeah, it looks like it's mine because my face is plastered everywhere. But it's not mine. It's your show. You know why? Because you watch it. How do you want me to change? Do you want me to improve it? Make it shorter? I probably can't do that. Probably can't do that. Why? SK, you want the watch time? You want the money? No, no, no. I just want to say what's on my mind. I'm not done. If you're done, click out. I'm not done talking yet. You know what will cause me to get done real quick? The leverage that has over me something? It's the camera. That's the leverage. Not enough memory. That's the leverage. You see, guys, Patreon out there. Please, Patreon. I'm going to get out the way. A sister is coming right now. Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. Please, Patreon. Sign up for Patreon. See, I need a new uh, memory. I need a new stick. I need a new memory card, you know? The joints is getting expensive. But Patreon members, I appreciate you out there. We're about to hit 30 Patreons. Can you believe that? Shout out to you guys, man. Shout out to all those Patreon members out there. I love you. Seriously, seriously. For the sake of Allah, I didn't get it. SQ, but I can't afford it. I can't, whatever. One, give whatever you can. It's for the sake of Allah. It's for the Dawah. If you want to invest in the Dawah, there's certain tiers, right? But if you just want to give for the sake of Allah, just give. Just give. You're still investing. You're still helping, okay? Uh, second thing, okay? Um... Your du'as are far more powerful than you think. I've only made it this far because of your du'as, not because my content's amazing. The content's all right. It's you guys. It's your du'as. It's your support. It's your love. It's your dedicated viewership that you're still 17 and some min uh, minutes and some seconds in, nearly 18, and you're still watching this. When I say Amazon gift card, when I say that sort of I want to reward you. I'm not worthy of giving 18 minutes of your life to. Allah's going to question you about these 18 minutes. I just pray that in these 18 minutes, I've helped you draw closest to Allah. I hope so. Otherwise, I've wasted 18 minutes of your life. Wasted it. But I pray that my videos are not a waste of your time. You get benefit in each second that there's something to squeeze if you're paying attention looking for it. But well, we're going to do this.
we're gonna make this happen. I love ya, I love ya, I love ya for the sake of Allah. It's actually much more time because I checked my time right here and we're approaching 19 seconds because I was speaking off the camera. Man, this is a long, long video. I love you for the sake of a life. If you tried to read the timestamps, you probably failed miserably. Uh, I want to tell you to check out my other videos. If you're on a rabbit hole right now of just discovering me on YouTube, I really, really appreciate that. Uh, just know sincerely, just not gonna look at When I say welcome to the channel, I really mean that, welcome to the channel. Um, check out some of the other videos if you haven't done so already. Uh, chances are you probably already have. Uh, listen, Quran, Apple Watch social experiment coming out this Sunday, inshallah, November 29th. That's all I got to say. It's lit. Really, really good. It's a really good social experiment. Be mindful of that. Uh, Sunday, inshallah. We did it for the sake of Allah. We're going to go get some da'wah this Saturday on Times Square. Come through if you can. I'm going to say 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Pray Maghrib together. Maybe combine Maghrib and Isha together and just mm, give out some Qur'ans in fun ways and in ways that help people and explain people. Come on, sisters, if you can come too, that's cool. Sisters, come too. Get some permission, come through. Do what you have to do, not a problem. This Maswak thing is crazy, but I got the black one. I like my old original one. Let me see if I can find it. This is the bonus. Some people, whoever clicked out of this video, may Allah increase you. <laughs> May Allah increase you. That's all I can say. May Allah increase you. Come on. Mm-hmm. Yep. This Miswak is getting smaller and smaller. Patreon. Support the Miswak flow. Become a Patreon member to support the Miswak. Support the Miswak addiction. Support the Miswak addiction. Patreon members, please sign up. I really, really love you all for the sake of Allah. I think this is how I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it in a manner that's very unconventional. Because I'm an unconventional person. You know? Who knows, in a second you might see a brother wearing a green hoodie walk by. Oh wait, that's cute. You're a fortune teller now? No. It's about having hindsight. You see, all you can see is this. All you can see is this. This is all you can see. You don't know what goodness is coming your way. You don't know what goodness is coming your way. Our vision is limited. Our pro our, the way we view ourselves is we're stuck in this problem forever. No. Inna ma'al usri yusra. Right? With the hardship, ease is on its way. It's like the day and the night. It's like the day and the night. When the day comes, the night comes. It's clockwork. It's clockwork. Clockwork. Day comes and the night comes. You know? The, uh, the, the sun comes, the moon comes. I know the, I know, I know the rotation. I know how it works, right? The clouds come, the sun comes out. It's a part of a rotation. It's cyclical. If you're in a situation right now that's kind of like, ah, uh, stuck in some hardship or turmoil, just know it's cyclical. The good is on its way. Just have faith in Allah. Have faith and just have some sabr. I know it's easier said than done. I know it. It's easier said than done. But just know that you can get better, you can do better, and wherever you are right now, that's not where you're gonna end up forever. I tell you, I got arrested here, bro. That shit was embarrassing. Yeah, it was embarrassing. And you know what, they don't even care about a uh, young person of color. I'm of color, and I was young. I was like, what, 22, 23 maybe? Wanna ruin my life by arresting me over what? Something dumb. Wanna try to ruin my life, alhamdulillah. You can't ruin something that Allah has written. You can't. That was all part of a learning experience. You know what I learned that day? That when you see cops, you run. That's what they taught me that day by not having any leniency on me. Bunch of jokers. Y'all want to see that video? I'm going to be in front of a precinct. I'm going to be in front of a precinct and tell y'all this story. Y'all want, want to hear the story of SQ's arrest? How rescue SQ got arrested? SQ arrested? I'm not afraid of the law. That's why every see me, I be standing up to the popos and uh, go to the security, just speaking my mind anywhere I go. I'm not afraid of it. I've been arrested. I've been arrested. I've made Salah in the jail, son. I've done it. Before when the cameras were off, I was doing this off camera. Allah was preparing me, grooming me, alhamdulillah, in the most positive way possible for this, for this position. My mistakes, my jahiliyyah was all preparing me, priming me for the top. And that's what I want to do. Take Islam to the top. Not for me, SQ. Trash. 
I'm trash. I'm no one. It's a lot. It's this Dean. I want to make sure there's a Quran in every. See those people who walk by. There should be a Quran in their book bags. Not so they can become Muslim. Ask you how many shahadas you got. No. So that they can learn about Islam. So that they can feel Islam. So they can understand Islam. So they're educated. And if Allah chooses to spark something in their heart after that, that's between them and Allah. It is what it is. We're just messengers, all of us. We're just plain warners. Allah is in control of the hearts, and Allah can change anyone's heart. Just like He did for Sister Halima Aiden. I love and appreciate you all, seriously, seriously, for the sake of Allah. Um, this is your humble, humble, humble brother. Your humble brother in Islam. A sinner, a, 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 a hypocrite. Just coming at you and letting you know that I love you for the sake of Allah and I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for taking this time to watch this video nearly 25 26 minutes in it's never my intention to make them this long but I just talk my my ish and just let, let it go from there uh, love you love you for the sake of Allah sincerely thank you so much may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase you bless you and remove all your problems and turmoils remove all those issues that you have and replace it with goodness and positivity love you all for the sake of Allah and until next time I'm out.